always ended up wanting to get new mods and better mods and change things up. So, we're going to make an ender portal. Um, I may even try to do it with the carpenter's blocks and see if the... Uh, <clears throat> If we can make it nice and smooth and cool and awesome looking uh, using the carpenter's blocks. I think it, it should because it still utilizes all the same aspects of whatever you put into it. So we'll uh, we'll make a, an ender portal there. And we'll go into the nether or whatever it is, nether portal. Um, and then what we're going to do is pretty much call this base all but complete. Um, Probably do, you know, a little bit of work on the, uh, I, I don't know if we're even going to get into the quarry or not, if we really need to yet. Um, we may. But, uh, I'm not going to go too much further with this base. I like it. It's pretty sweet. It's a nice little fort temple looking thing. Um, we might come back later and do some improvements. I do think I may get some, uh, fence, some of the carpenter's fencing. And kind of do some supports underneath the bridge. I don't know. Maybe some windows or something in the sides up here. But for all intents and purposes, uh, it's pretty much done. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, the nether. And we're going to go have some fun there. And I do know a little bit about it. Like, I know that the nether allows you to move, like, every block is, like, nine blocks in in the other world. So we can use that to our advantage and uh, and find a suitable location for our other base. Um, so this way we could start building up multiple bases in the world and through that um, kind of offer ourselves some more opportunity to use what we've learned, you know, what we've built so far, what we're learning to build. I wonder if gold turns to ash. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of other use for a golden chest plate other than to smoke it. So, I mean, it's almost dead anyway. If it were closer to being full blown, then, you know, maybe. But probably not. Just gonna get. Ooh, nope. Nope. We got Azure. So sweet. Um, I'm gonna put these dusts in over here too. Close that door. Dust, ash, sweet. Okay. And we need our chisel back. Chisel. This one. So yeah, we're going to use what we've learned and the building techniques that we have and the fact that we already have, you know, one successful base. Um, so things like, you know, mines and stuff like that, we've already got covered. Ooh, probably should have done cobblestone on that one. That's okay. Aww. Um, yeah, so we can use all of that to build a better second base. And... Hmm. Do I have neat stones? I don't. I might have a couple in here. Just need a couple of the finely cut stone. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, and then, you know, maybe I will get to build my treetop base. Maybe it won't be next. I don't know. Maybe I'll just build kind of a normal little fort next. So, in either case, this can kind of become my small farm and enchanting area. I mean, a lot of my primary activities will probably be through here for now. But we've still got a ton of other mods to cover. I mean, so we've barely even touched... Actually, we really haven't done anything but farm for witchery. Granted, we've been kind of focusing on Thomcraft and getting in there. And there's still a ton of work to be done in Thomcraft. We're just now getting into discoveries. So things are just now starting to get interesting. And I think that's a good point in time to kind of wrap up this base with a big adventure into the nether. And that be, kind of do it kind of like chapter one, and that be the end of chapter one. Uh, and chapter two, I don't even know where chapter two is going to bring us. We're just going to have to figure that out, you know. But in either case, I think it'll work well like that. Ooh, that looks awesome. It definitely looks better. Um, probably should not have done that, because I need the hammer now. 
was trying to avoid using hammer. Ooh, yay! All right, usually that doesn't work that well. Um, okay, so that was nice. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, we're still going to focus a lot of our energies here. Um, there's still a lot to, to be learned from this base. But at the same point in time, you know, scenery, starting to get a little old. Projects, starting to get wrapped up. Uh, and, and I was thinking about it, and I don't want to completely, you know, I don't want to, like, duplicate this again over there and make, like, the four-towered fort. You know, I'm just not really feeling that with this base. I think it's it's getting close to being done. I'll be happy to finally get... I probably can actually take off most of the bluestone torches. Um or the, the landmark torches, because, in all honesty, most of their function was to make this bridge work correctly, and so that I wouldn't get lost going, um, adventuring way out there, and you don't want eggs or shark's teeth. I don't really care about them. Okay. There we are. heard the pop, but I feel like it might have fallen. Doesn't appear that it did, though. Okay. So... Oh, I thought I could grab the ladder in time. So yeah, this base almost done. We'll... We've got our... I was really waiting on getting a good enchanted bow. So we now have that, and it is awesome. I love it. There, now all those blue lines are gone, which were especially annoying having coming straight down into my enchantment table. I know it probably bugged some of you more obsessive compulsive people out there, but it looks a lot better now. There we go. We're almost done. I, I might just go ahead and, you know, library this up to the ceiling. Who knows? So that way this is kind of a little study. I just come in here and relax in my enchanted water. Um, so yeah. I might make carpenter steps. I might smooth that out a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just pondering now. I don't think I have a whole lot else to say on the matter. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm going to do too much build craft at this site because this is more temple-y. In fact, I may actually remove all of. I think I will actually. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove all of the pipes that we have going down to our mine because we were not utilizing that and it wasn't built very well. There's still a lot to be gained from potentially doing like a quarry over in that last area. But for now, I'm content. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted the experience for the kill. Ugh, these silver swords are worthless. They don't even, they just smelt down into ash. Pretty sure that's what the ash that was in the calcinator actually from earlier was. Um, yeah. I want to, if we're going to do buildcraft stuff, we might make like a steampunk base and just focus on buildcrafty items. I may even look into uh, doing a backup of my save and seeing if there's a couple of additional mods. I know that we've got better archery in, but there is a, another mod that adds some uh, ranged weapons, some other ranged weapons that are more ingenious. Um, so next steps. Basically, in the immediate, I'm probably just going to finish up construction, uh, smoothing. We've got all of the, uh, all the meat that we could ever need. I'll let the wheat grow up and probably do a little bit more cattle breeding and finish off getting our enchantment area up. I don't know what the max enchantment level for the uh, improved enchantment mod is. It's It could be the same as the original. I don't know. Um, then there's one other thing. Oh yeah, we're looking at... <laughs> we've lost our helmet and the rest of our armor is getting pretty rough. We have... A small stash of diamonds and we have tons of rare ores that we have not messed with and by small stash I meant really tiny stash of diamonds 
so I'm I'm gonna have to probably go. I might make a book in Quill and see if I can translate uh, the metallurgy information website into a book in Quill so I can store it on my bookshelf. And we might look at doing armor that way. Um, I do kind of wish you could set... I guess chest plate would probably tell me, yeah, thaumium, hardened leather. The only thing it doesn't tell me is, you know, what's what's better? Damascus steel sounds pretty good. Steel, silver, who knows? Golden chest plate. I know that gold is not generally that good. Alchemical chests. Platinum, Electrum, Gold. Oh, sweet. I did not know that. A trapped chest. A regular chest. So I'm guessing, is a normal chest 6 by, what, 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9 by 3 is 18. So, oh, wow. Huh. Silver ingots and a brass chest. A silver chest. Wow, so we can make... We actually could potentially use the chests that we already have here. Um, actually, brass ingot. Brass dust made from copper and zinc. Medassium and brass makes gold. Gold dust. Lots of things seem to make gold dust. Interesting. So we may not necessarily need metallurgy, except for the fact that we still don't have, I don't have the greatest idea. Where does medassium dust come from? Um, gold looks a lot like medassium. I don't show. See, yeah, it doesn't show the furnace and the crusher, which we don't have yet. So I don't know if medassium is its own. Medassium ingots. Midas. Midas. So that would make sense. I haven't found it anywhere. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's in another world. Who knows? So, oh, so much, so much to go through. I need to look at some of the metallurgy to figure out what my best option for making armors out of all this stuff is. I mean, we've got lots of silver and copper, of course. Promethium seem to be pretty weak, but maybe we can combine it with some stuff. Uh, then again, we would probably need a better smelting facility. And honestly, I think this being kind of a watery temple, we might just stick with kind of our iron for now. And do, like I said, maybe our next maybe our next base is going to have to be more steampunky. And do our smelting and our build crafting there. And this can transform into more of a magical place. We may even change some of our configuration as far as what we're farming. Um, may do start doing farm-specific crops. Who knows? So... Cause yeah, we and we still got we haven't even gone that far into the magical woods, mostly because I've been largely without armor for a while, and now that I do have armor, I was sans a good weapon. But now we've got good weapon. Um, soon we'll remake our armor. I know there's another village that way. We haven't even really figured out what they're willing to buy. We can have infinite fire arrows. I may have to play around with a couple of the different arrows and see how much the exploding arrows are. And I haven't even done any potioning. Poison, night vision, splash potions. Of course, I'm not going to make my enemy swift. A four-way splitting impact explosive. 
seems crazy powerful arrow. Fire arrow is pretty nice, though, I mean, generally. But if the nether, everything is on fire there, then things may be resistant to it. So... Explosive is probably better. Torch arrow, I do want to make two. Now, the question is... Will the infinite arrow work with the quiver, or can I use the quiver to set all four of my arrows, or multiple different types of arrows in there, and have all of them be infinite, or do I just kind of have to pull out whichever one I want to use at the time, or will it, like, use them up? Who knows? Uh, but if we can, if we could have four different kinds of arrows and have them all be infinite, then we're going to be overpowered, at least in my eyes. Uh, until, until stuff just crushes us somewhere, which I'm sure there's definitely a potential for that happening. Um, wouldn't be the first time, but yeah, we'll look into all of this, figure it out, and come back later.